Hello friends, welcome to our next lecture of GSM Intra MSC Normal Call Flow. In today's lecture, we will be focusing on the interaction between the MSC and DHLR. I hope this lecture will be of much more interest for you as compared to earlier lectures. As in this lecture, we will be focusing on the MAP interaction. MAP stands for Mobile Application Part. In the earlier lectures, we have been focusing on the DTAP signaling, which basically includes the interaction between the originating mobile station and the MSC. So in this case, we will be having a look into the pure signaling that is being done in the core network. So based on the call number that is being received by the mobile station, uh, at the MSC end, now the MSC has the responsibility to locate the call number or the calling number. So for this action to be performed, MSC sends a message to the HLR, which is basically called the map send routing information request message. When the HLR receives this message, the HLR in response to this message performs a hunt for the call party number based on the MSC in which that number resides. So to that MSC, HLR sends a map provide roaming number indication message, which requests that MSC to provide a temporary number which is called MSRN, mobile subscriber roaming number. When the MSC sees that the subscriber for which the MSRN has been requested, then MSC allocates a MSRN and responds back to the HLR with the message map provide roaming number response. Once this message is received at the HLR, then the HLR again sends a map send routing information confirmation message which is basically a response to the first message with the MSRN number. In this case, you may wonder that why the HLR is interacting with the same MSC. This is because we are discussing the case of intra-MSC call in which both the originating mobile station and the terminating mobile station, that is the caller number and the call number, both reside in the same MSC VLR. So in this case, you will be seeing this both set of messages, that is this five number message and this eight number message. Actually, these perform a pair and this six and seven number message, they basically perform a pair. In case if this MSC for the call party is a different MSC, then, then this six and seven message would have been to a different MSC. So in this case, since we are discussing the intra MSC call, so you have seen that all four of these messages have been exchanged with the same MSC VLR. So now let's move on and have a deeper look into these messages. Since these are map messages, so they belong to a totally different uh, protocol stack and we will be having a look into the information elements belonging to them. So first, let's have a look on the map send routing information request message. As earlier, we saw that this message is sent by the MSC to the HLR. At this point, you may have a question that how the MSC recognizes the HLR of the call party. So again, this is uh, called the GT routing and we will be having a detailed discussion into that as well once we reach that point in which we will be having the uh, deeper look into the GT routing that how the GT routing, the global title routing is performed in the core network. So for the time being, I think it's more appropriate for you to understand that this message is being sent from the MSC to the HLR and later on we can see that how this message traverses through different intermediate hops. And that GT routing, which is basically the basis of the routing, we will be having a look later on.
So once this message is sent by the MSC to the HLR, then what different information elements are being carried in this message? We will have a look into it. First, you can see over here that it is being written over here that this message is sent by GMSC to the HLR. So in this case, the GMSC basically stands for Gateway MSC. Any MSC which has the capability to interrogate to HLR is basically called a Gateway MSC. This is basically basically the interrogation capability or the communication capability of the MSC with the HLR is basically called the Gateway MSC. As I informed that this has been a part of the map stack so this is a map service request then it has its different uh, prerequisites that it contains the dialogue id then the map operation code which integrates that what kind of message is being exchanged and then the map operation class as well that we will be having a look later on for the time being the information element that is of interest to us is the msi stn this can be the dial number by the originating party for which he wants to get connected and also it also says that what kind of inter interrogation is taking place that this interrogation or the communication with the hlr is for the basic call and also at the same time the originating msc also sends its address as well which is also called the global title of that msc so in this case we have seen the maps and routing information request message basically contains the msi stn of the call party and its own address as well so that the hlr can reply back to that msc after getting the msrn from the destination msc so once the hlr receives the send routing information request then the HLR sends a map provide roaming number indication request message to the destination MSC, which in our case is the same MSC. That is, the both calling and the call party are in the same MSC. So once the destination MSC receives this message, then the destination MSC has to allocate the MSRN, the mobile subscriber roaming number. So what different inf important information elements are present in the uh, map provide roaming number indication? We can have a look over here that as per the structure of the message, it contains the dialogue ID. So what basically is the structure of a map message? We will be having a look later on. But for the time being, you can see that the message operation code you can see over here and it contains the MZ of the call number. So what HLR does is that it communicates based on the MZ of the call party with the MSC that HLR has asked the destination MSC to provide pro a roaming number for this MZ and this is the destination msc with which it is communicating so uh, now the let's move on to the next message in which the destination msc provides a response to the hlr with the message map, map provide roaming number response in this message you will see over here that the msc provides the roaming number back to the hlr this roaming number is again you can see some sort of msi stn similar number that it will respond back this is basically uh, belongs to a reserved series which are only used for connecting the call so as per the previous practice we can see the uh, map operation code is the provide roaming number and the most important uh, information element in this case is the roaming number. So once HLR receives the roaming number from the destination MSC, then it replies back to the originating MSC with the map send routing information confirmation and in which it provides the roaming number back to the originating MSC that we can see over here. This is the same roaming number that HLR received over here from the originating MSC. 
So in this case, just for information, we can see over here that the operation code is the same, the send routing information code that was earlier received by the HLR in the first message. So in this case, it is basically replying back to that MSC over here. Once the originating MSC receives the MSRN from the HLR, then it proceeds with the subsequent operations for the call connection. So let's return to the original call flow. Here we can see that subsequent to this message, there is another process which is called paging that will be followed. So what paging is that we will be looking into the our next lecture. So for the time being, I hope this lecture has been of interest to you and you will be able to gain knowledge out of it. Stay tuned for upcoming lectures. Thank you so much.